IS-23 deals with borrowing cost. So first of all, the objective of IS-23. The objective of IS-23 is to prescribe the accounting treatment of borrowing cost. Simply borrowing cost is the interest cost. So borrowing cost included interest on bank overdraft and borrowings, finance charge on finance lease, and any exchange difference on finance foreign currency borrowings where they are regarded as adjustment to the interest cost. Simply borrowing cost is the outcome of the loan or debt financing. Now, what is a qualifying asset? A qualifying asset is an asset that takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use or sale. So simply, the uh, if any borrowing cost incurred on any qualifying asset, then such borrowing cost is to be capitalized. So this IES deals with the issue that whether interest cost is to be charged in profit and loss account as an expense or interest cost is to be capitalized in the asset. That could be property plan and equipment, investment property during the construction phase, intangible asset during the development period or made to order inventories. For example, if you, are, if you took out a loan in order to construct a property plan and equipment and investment property, uh, a developing developed assets, uh, developing assets such as uh, softwares or made to order inventory, then these are qualifying asset. If you have purchased a ready made assets, a complete asset, then finance cost cannot be capitalized on such assets. Now, what is the accounting treatment? Main one that is the recognition of borrowing cost. Borrowing costs that are directly attributable to the acquisition, construction, or production of a qualifying asset form part of the cost of that asset. For example, I have purchased a plant and machinery and uh, for which uh, a loan is to be taken and that property, plant, and equipment classified as a qualifying asset, then the finance cost is to be capitalized in the asset cost. Other than that, borrowing cost is typically recognized in profit and loss account as an expense. Now, there are two types of borrowings. One is called the uh, specific borrowings and other is called the journal borrowings. Sometimes you take loan for some specific purpose and sometimes it's a journal borrowing that can be used on the construction of an asset. So where funds are borrowed specifically cost eligible for capitalization are the actual cost incurred less any income earned on the temporary investment of such borrowings. So for example, if a loan has been taken from a bank at a rate of 10% per annum, then the borrowing cost is 10% to be capitalized. But where funds are part of a journal pool, then the eligible amount is determined by applying a capitalization rate to the expenditure on that asset. What is a capitalization rate? The capitalization rate is the weighted average of the borrowing cost applicable to the journal pool. So in case of a specific borrowing, we know the rate, but in case of journal borrowing, we have to calculate the average rate. Now, when commence the capitalization process will commence, it depends on the asset has been, uh, the loan has been taken, the finance cost has been incurred, the construction has been taken place. So capitalization should commence when expenditures are being incurred, borrowing costs are being incurred and activities that are necessary to prepare the asset for its intended use or sale are in progress. It may include some activities prior to commencement of physical production. So for example, a building has to be constructed, but some preliminary activities are being taken place, then we'll start commencement of capitalization. Sometime it happens that we have to suspend our physical activities due to some reason, and then capitalization should also be suspended during period in which active development is interrupted. But you have to be careful about this. If the suspension is already in mind, already planned, then there will be no suspension of capitalization. But it is, if it is a, an abnormal suspension, so uh, not uh, keep in mind in advance, then suspension will take place.
so there will be no capitalization in such period if any interest cost incurred in the suspension period that interest cost is to be charged straight to profit and loss account as an expense when that cap capitalization process will ceased so cessation of capitalization capitalization process should cease when substantially all of the activities necessary to prepare the asset for its intended use or sale are complete if some minor modifications are outstanding it indicate that substantial activities are being done when construction is in completed in stages which can be used while construction of the other parts continues capitalization of attributable borrowing cost should cease when substantially all of the activities necessary to prepare that part is being complete so this accounting standard tells you about the treatment of interest cost if interest cost is applicable on a qualifying asset then it is to be capitalized otherwise it is to be charged in profit and loss account as an expense